Welcome back to my channel with another video. In this video, I am going to explain previous year questions of math chapter circles. From this video, you will get to know which questions are very important for the exam and also how marks are distributed in each question. So, watch this video till end. First, we will solve the questions from September 2020 question paper. First problem is for one mark. The question is, in the figure, O is the center of circle. AC is a diameter. If angle ACB is equal to 50 degree, then find the measure of angle BAC. Here, O is the center of circle. AC is a diameter. And angle ACB is equal to 50 degrees. Angle ABC is 90 degrees. Because A B and C are the distinct points on a circle where the line AC is a diameter. So, the angle ABC is a right angle. Therefore, angle ABC is 90 degrees. Now, we know ABC is a right angle triangle at B. So, the sum of all the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Angle ACB plus Angle ABC plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degrees. Angle ACB is given in the question is 50 degrees. Angle ABC is 90 degree. We need to find angle BAC. 50 plus 90 is 140. If you take plus 140 to this side becomes minus 140. 180 minus 140 is 40 degree. Therefore, angle BAC is 40 degree. If you want to know the answer is correct or not, just add all the angles of a triangle. 50 plus 90 plus 40 is 180. So, answer is correct. Second question from September 2020 is, prove that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. This is theorem 4.2 and this question is for 3 marks. The data given here is circle with center O. P is the external point. PQ and PR are the tangents drawn from an external point P to the circle with center O. We are required to prove PQ is equal to PR. To prove PQ is equal to PR, we join OP, OQ and OR. For drawing, writing data to prove and construction, we will get half mark each. Now we will see how to prove this statement. In triangle POQ and triangle POR, angle OQP is equals to angle ORP. Angle OQP and ORP are right angles. These are the angles between radii and tangents. According to theorem 4.1, radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. Radius OQ is perpendicular to tangent PQ. So, angle OQP is equal to angle ORP is 90 degrees. OQ is equal to OR, radii of same circle. OP is equal to OP. Common sides of triangles POQ and POR. By RHS criteria, triangle POQ is congruent to triangle POR. RHS theorem is the right angle hypotenuse side theorem. If hypotenuse and a side of one triangle are respectively equals to hypotenuse and a side of other triangle. Here hypotenuse of a triangle POQ is OP equals to OP which is hypotenuse of triangle POR. Side of a triangle POQ is OQ is equals to OR of triangle POR. Therefore, triangle POQ is congruent to triangle POR. 
For this step, you will get half mark. Therefore, PQ is equal to PR by CPCT, that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Hence, both tangents from external point are equal. For this step, you will get half mark. Now, move to the June 2020 question paper. The question is multiple choice question. A straight line which passes through a point on a circle is the four options are tangent, second, radius, and transversal. The correct option is a tangent. Here, a straight line PQ which passes through a point on a circle. Therefore, PQ is a tangent. Second question is for one mark. In the figure, AB and AC are the two tangents drawn from the point A to the circle with center O. If angle BOC is equal to 130 degree, then find BAC. Angle BAC is equal to 180 minus 130 is equals to 50 degrees. So, angle BAC is 50 degrees. Next question is, prove that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. This is theorem 4.2 and I have already explained this question which were asked in September 2020 question paper. Now, March 2019 question paper. The question is, the straight line which passes through two points on a circle is, the options are a chord, b second, C tangent D radius. The correct option is B second. In this diagram, PQ is a straight line which passes through two points AB on a circle. Here, PQ is the second of a circle. Second question from March 2019 is prove that the lengths of tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal. I have explained this question already. Next question is, in the given figure PQ and RS are two parallel tangents to a circle with center O and another tangent AB with point of contact C intersecting PQ at A and RS at B. Prove that angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. Let us see what is given here. In figure PQ and RS are two parallel tangents to a circle with center O and another tangent AB with point of contact C intersecting PQ at A and RS at B. Here we need to prove angle AOB is 90 degrees. Here two tangents AX and AC are emerging from point A. So, A is the external point to a circle. As we know already, theorem, the lengths of tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal. Hence, the length of tangents AX and AC are equal. That is, AX is equal to AC. Next, OX and OC are radius of a circle and OX and OC are equal. OA is common side. By SSS similarity criteria triangle, OXA and triangle OAC are congruent. By CPCT, angle OAX is equal to OAC. Similarly, triangle OCB is equal to triangle OBY. Let's take angle OAB is equal to X and OAX is also equal to X and OBA is equal to Y and angle OBY is also equal to Y. Writing this step, you will get half mark. PQ is parallel to RS and sum of interior angles of a same side of transversal is 180 degrees. The interior angles are angle XAB plus angle YBA is equal to 180 degrees. Angle XAB is 
angle OAB plus angle OAX. Angle YBA is angle OBA plus angle OBY. Angle OAB is X and angle OAX is X. And angle OBA is Y. Angle OBY is Y. Half mark for writing this step. X plus X is 2X and Y plus Y is 2Y. Up to this step you will get 1 mark. Next take 2 as a common. 2 into bracket X plus Y. X plus Y is equals to 180 degree divided by 2. X plus Y is 180 divided by 2 is 90 degrees. Now in triangle AOB, sum of interior angles is equals to 180 degrees. Angle OAB plus angle OBA plus angle AOB is equals to 180 degrees. Writing this, you will get one mark. Now angle OAB is X, angle OBA is Y. Plus, we need to find angle AOB. As we proved earlier, X plus Y is 90 degrees. So, X plus Y is 90. Angle AOB is 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees. Therefore, angle AOB is equals to 90 degrees. Half mark for the final answer. Important topics in circles are definitions of a terms called point of contact, second, Tangent of a circle. Theorem 4.2 is very important for the exam. Chances of getting this theorem in your exam is very high. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe and share this video as much as you can. This will help me to make more and more videos. I hope this video will help you to prepare for your exam.